The Quiet Man and the Searchers are American films directed by John Ford. He has directed over more than 140 films and is considered one of the most influential filmmakers of his time. In 1952, John Ford directed the romantic comedy drama The Quiet Man, starring John Wayne, Maureen O'Hara, Barry Fitzgerald, Victor McLagan, and Ward Bond. A few years later, Ford directed The Searchers, starring John Wayne, Jeffrey Hunter, Vera Miles, Ward Bond, and Natalie Wood. Both of these films share a unique style. After watching and analyzing both films, I saw some differences as well as some similarities. The Quiet Man is distinctive because it's a romantic comedy drama, which is why it's considered one of Ford's favorite films, and it's some of his most personal work. His, slow pay, he, his pace is slow, his shots are simple and plain. Ford was able to shoot on location in Ireland, producing a fabulous looking color film. And many of the outside close-ups were actually done on sets back in California. The Quiet Man is distinctive because it offers fans of, of the cinema an opportunity to see a different side of John Wayne. In this film, John Wayne is more subdued and less macho. His character, Sean Thornton, is an Irish American who follows his roots back to his family, family home in Ireland. It's set in the 1920s, and the film is about the wild romance between Sean Thornton, a man with a secret in his past, and a passionate Mary Kate, whose brother Red opposes their match. Even after the two are married, their difficulties aren't over. Mary Kate's brother, Will, withholds Mary's dowry. As a result of this, Mary won't allow Sean into her bed until he retrieves the money. Because of his secret, secret past, Sean won't fight Will. Mary thinks she married a coward. Little does she really know that Sean is not a coward, but he chooses not to fight because of his dark secret. In America, Sean was a boxer who accidentally killed another boxer while fighting. He vowed never to fight again. The Quiet Man is similar to The Searchers because both of these films, John Ford chose John Wayne to be the leading character. John Wayne is very well liked among his peers. He is widely known for his talented and outstanding work. It is no coincidence that his voice and mannerisms are among the most frequently mimicked of anyone who has ever made a film. Another actor that appeared in both films is Ward Bond. In Quiet Man, Ward Bond plays the character Father Peter. In The Searcher, Ward Bond plays the Reverend Captain Clayton. Both of his character roles are religious figures. The Searchers is distinctive because it's a western film which John Ford wanted to make want to wanted to make appear darker, gloomier, and tougher than any other film he has ever made. The film is about a middle-aged Civil War veteran who spent several years searching for his niece who was abducted because of a Comanche raid. The western movie was filmed in Monument Valley, Arizona, which provided a perfect backdrop. Monument Valley has a Fragile, fragile pinnacles of rock which are surrounded by miles of mesas and shrubs. The magnificent colors made Monument Valley appear fierce and provided a perfect setting for the film. Ford was able, able to capture the beauty and isolate danger of the frontier. It's no wonder why Ford chose to use wide camera shots and very little close-ups. The Searchers is distinctive because the film explores prejudice hostility, and ignorance towards the Indians. John Wayne's leading character, Ethan Edwards, is arrogant, intolerable, a racist, and a loner. The film opens up with Ethan arriving at his brother's home in southern Texas. He has just returned from the Civil War, even though it ended three years ago. What should be a happy homecoming visit turns out to be his worst nightmare. On his second day back, Reverend Samuel Clayton and his band of Texans Rangers recruit him and his adopted nephew, Martin, to fend off a party of Comanche Indians from nearby ranches. Unfortunately, this was just a plot by the Comanche Indians to get their men away from their homes for the, so the Comanches and their leader, Scar, can kill Ethan's brother, sister-in-law, nephew, and capture both of his nieces, Lucy and Little Debbie. 
Ethan spends five years on a lonely quest to hunt down the tribe that holds Little Debbie. At first, his quest starts out as a rescue, but in the end, he wants to shoot her dead because she became one of them. Throughout the film, John's Wayne, John Wayne's character is deeper, darker, creepier, and racist. Here are just a few examples. Ethan interrupts the burial of his sister-in-law, his brother and nephew. Tells the Reverend Clayton, Amen, there's no more time for praying. Then leaves abruptly. When the two men come upon a herd of buffalo, Ethan begins shooting at them, seeming like an out-of-control man. Ethan shoots the eyes of the dead Comanche. He has no regards or mercy for the dead. Ethan keeps telling Martin that he isn't related to him because Martin is half Indian. Ethan attempts to shoot his niece Debbie because she is now considered one of them, a Comanche. She is Scar's wife. John Ford does a wonderful job in producing The Quiet Man and The Searchers. Even though both films have differences and similarities, each film has a unique style of telling its story. John Ford has a way of captivating his audience. I must say I enjoyed both films and plan on watching more of his films. <laughs>